Well, today we are going to work on replacing my Hornady auto case feeder motor with something a little better. This is one I had laying around. It's got a clutch in it. It's an AC. It's reversible. We'll only be running it in one direction. And believe it or not, these mounting screws will make it fit right in there. I have to make a little spacers for these, but the original four mounting screws for the case feeder, two will go in there, two will go in here. Um, marked out. They're 832s, the Hornady's are 10, so I guess I'll just get some new screws. I don't want to re-tap these. Um, the only thing that's going to have to be modified is this uh, the shaft's quarter inch and the, the Hornady is a little different. So I'm going to make an adapter. Let's see if you can see this. This is what it needs to look like. That's the Hornady. So Gonna cut out a piece of stainless and bore it out, make a little shaft adapter. The uh, the Hornady has a roll pin in it. I'm gonna use that to hold the shaft adapter on to the shaft. I'm just gonna through drill both of them. And when I drive the roll pin in, it'll... well, this is pretty cool. <clears throat> I went to uh, flea market a while ago and. Some guy had torn apart a bunch of printers, so I got a whole boatload of these uh, these stainless steel rods from them for like five bucks. Just so happens that this is exactly the right diameter to make the shaft adapter. So I'm gonna check it up in the collet and. Um, kind of long but I'll show you I got a I got a spider in the end of this lathe that will uh, allow me to turn it without it whipping around too much I'll show you, show you what I got here in, the, in a second in the back Alright, got this thing checked up. Here's the spider. Unfortunately for these long bolts, I gotta keep the case open here, so I don't wanna get near that. So, this thing we gotta do is part this thing off because there's stuff on here we don't want. About 550 RPM. First thing we're going to do is center drill it.
we're gonna take a quick measure. Okay, the shaft is uh, 625 long. And we want our adapter to be about an inch and 1.160. So to a depth of 625 and just to make sure the shaft is 250 Well, it really doesn't matter if we come out the top, but I'll drill it right anyways. This little disc for my tail quill here so I can stick a dial indicator up there and measure how deep things go. Just pushes on. my little dial indicator with the mag base on it and stick it on there. And you can see that you know as it moves out it'll measure it. Let's see. 530 second drill just to get it in there, get it started. Zero the indicator. Put some juice on it. Here we go. Home. Two. Three. Six, ten, twenty-five, and because it isn't a flat bottom hole, go to six fifty. Okay. This is gonna. Widen this thing out pretty good. Not much wall thickness, but it's not like we have a lot of torque on this thing. So it ought to be okay. One, two, 
four, five, six, fifty, And yes, I do have a handle on this file. That's good. All right. I'm thinking probably should uh, part this thing off. So let's uh, let me figure out how long I should make this thing because I didn't, my drawing's a little messed up here for the overall length. Hang on. Okay, it wants to be 850 thou long. So I got my indicator. Stuck on the carriage now. And get that flush with the end, so crank it over 850. We ought to be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight fifty. Lock the carriage. take this long one out of here and chuck up the little adapter and face it off make it all nice and pretty.